phytoplankton, as sampled here at Lake Biwa, is composed of a great variety of microscopic algae. The term algae groups together bacteria and protists that are capable of photosynthesis and that use chlorophyll A as their main photosynthetic pigment. Algae are major primary producers in inland waters and they are fundamental members of aquatic food webs. The main groups of algae have traditionally been classified according to their morphology, reproductive structures, photosynthetic pigments, storage reserves, cell coverings, means of cell division, and life histories. New molecular data partially support these classifications, but have also revealed new groupings and undiscovered biodiversity. Dr. John Ware is a professor of biology at the Lewis Calder Center, the biological field station of Fordham University in Armonk, New York. He is lead editor of the treatise, Freshwater Algae of North America, Ecology and Classification, and here introduces the diverse groups of algae that inhabit lake and river ecosystems. From a phylogenetic perspective, the algae are a diverse and heterogeneous collection of prokaryotic and eukaryotic taxa in two domains of the tree of life, the bacteria, cyanobacteria, and eukaryota with many phyla. In this chapter, we describe 10 major groups of algae that are found in inland waters. First of these are the cyanobacteria, which thrive in a diversity of inland waters from ultra oligotrophic to hypertrophic lakes, mountain streams, hot springs, and saline ponds. Cyanobacteria exhibit enormous morphological and ecological diversity. Some species have the ability to fix atmospheric nitrogen when external supplies are limiting, Many planktonic species have gas vesicles that provide buoyancy. A few bloom-forming cyanobacteria can produce toxins. These and other biochemical adaptations have made cyanobacteria among the most successful organisms inhabiting inland waters. The red algae are classified in the phylum Rhodophyta, whose members have photosynthetic pigments phycocyanin and phycorythrin, in addition to chlorophyll A. This combination of pigments allows red algae to take on many different colors from pink to purple, to brown, to green, to black. Nearly all are macroscopic and benthic. None are planktonic. Red algae are primarily a marine group, but at least 27 genera of freshwater rhodophytes occur in lakes and rivers from the Arctic to the Tropic. Cryptomonads and euglenoids are unicellular flagellated protists. Cryptomonads, phylum Cryptophyta, have chlorophylls A and C2, as well as phycocyanin and phycoerythrin acquired from an ancient cyanobacterial symbiont. While common in lakes, their importance in freshwater food webs is not well studied, despite the fact that they are a high quality food source for zooplankton. Euglenoids, phylum Euglenophyta, have chlorophylls A and B, and several xanthophylls. They possess an external proteinaceous covering arranged in strips known as a pellicle. They occur in many inland waters, especially in water with high organic content. Small ponds occasionally produce spectacular blood red blooms of Euglena sanguinea. The yellow green algae, this group was once regarded as a single group, but are actually three independent lineages the Eustigmatophysae, Rephidophysae, and Xanthophysae within the Ocrophora. Notable members include filamentous forms such as Tribonema and Vosheria. Raphidophysae are flagellates, including Goniostema, 
which occasionally forms nuisance blooms in humic and acidic lakes. The golden algae, or chrysophytes, comprise perhaps six independent lineages, but all have cells with unequal flagella, chlorophylls A, C1, C2, C3, and fucosanthin as major photosynthetic pigments, creating their typical golden brown color. Many are flagellates, but they're also coccoid, filamentous, and macroscopic forms. Many species are common members of phytoplankton assemblages and lakes. When abundant, chrysophytes can create taste and odor problems in water supplies. The diatoms, two more major classes of protists in the Ocrophyta, possess similar photosynthetic pigments as the chrysophytes, but have a unique two-parted silica wall known as a frustule composed of an epitheca and a hypotheca, and one or many girdle bands. They are a remarkably diverse and beautiful group of golden algae, estimated to between 20,000 to as many as 2 million species. In freshwater food webs, diatoms are a major source of essential fatty acids for consumers, and often are the major primary producers in many inland waters. The dinoflagellates, class Dinophysae, are a group of mostly unicellular protists that possess two uniquely arranged flagella, a transverse flagellum and a longitudinal flagellum, which in combination propel the cell through the water creating a whirling pattern. Dinoflagellates have photosynthetic, phagotrophic, and osmotrophic members, even a few parasitic species. Autotrophic members use chlorophyll A and C2 as primary photosynthetic pigments, as well as the carotenoid peridinin and several xanthophylls. Some are important members of phytoplankton assemblages in inland waters, including peridinium, serratium, and gymnodinium. Brown algae, the Phaophysae, are an almost entirely marine group, but a few are important members of stream and lake communities. All are benthic and macroscopic. The two most common taxa are Pleurocladia and Herabodiella. Green algae are a diverse collection of organisms currently classified in two major phyla, the Chlorophyta and the Streptophyta. All members possess photosynthetic pigments chlorophylls A and B and store starch. The latter group include the land plants. Both clades include microscopic and macroscopic forms and occur in many different planktonic and benthic habitats. Algae can also be classified ecologically. Various groups of algae can be distinguished based on the type of habitat with which they are associated. Some are planktonic, free-floating in the water as the phytoplankton. Others are attached, epilithic, attached to rock, and epiphytic, attached to plants. Epipallic communities live on and within salts, clays, and other sediments, while episambic communities occur on and within sand. The metaphyton refers to algae growing in loose association with water plants, but not attached. Algae can also be classified according to size, from minute unicells in the femtoplankton to large filaments and drifting macroalgae in the megaplankton. Picoplanktonic species comprise picocyanobacteria and picoeukaryotes, and these are often the most abundant photosynthetic cell types in oligotrophic waters. Algae and cyanobacteria are important indicators as well as determinants of water quality. Dr. Sanad Janser Fenfiren 
is an associate professor in botany at Northwest University in South Africa. She has a special interest in phytoplankton diversity and the algal ecology of lake and river ecosystems. Here she briefly describes one of her studies showing changes in river algae associated with shifts in water chemistry. The Vaal River supplies water to the economic heartland here in South Africa. It is highly regulated as a result of weirs and dams influencing the flow regime. Striking differences in color are often observed above and below the weir. Phytoplankton sampling over a 10 year period showed that there were pronounced differences in species composition on either side of the weir. The upstream side was dominated by eukaryotic algae, while the downstream side was dominated by cyanobacteria. The upstream phytoplankton contained diverse taxa, including diatoms, green algae, cryptophytes, chrysophytes, dinoflagellates, and euglenophytes. The downstream community was dominated by the noxious and potentially toxic cyanobacteria, microcystis erythrinosa, and several dolichospermum species. Multivariate analysis showed that these changes in phytoplankton community structure were related to shifts in water quality across the weir. Algae and cyanobacteria colonize all types of inland water habitats. From biofilms and dilute glacial streams to the plankton of hypersaline lakes and ponds, they are a rich component of limnological diversity, including in our local lakes and ponds. Thank <laughs> you. 